guys, it's me, Stormy, and we're going to talk about this next beautiful December full moon, our last full moon as we get ready to end the year, and it's going to be happening December 22nd at zero degrees of Cancer, which we can see right down here. Now, the one thing I think is really exciting about this particular moon, especially as we're ending the year, is, you know, the end of the year, at least the calendar year, to me feels like there should be a little sparkle, a little holiday surprise, a little something like that. And having this particular moon in a sextile, and remember, when the planets have sex, that's good for us, um, in, in this beautiful sextile, brings the opportunity for some unexpected surprise or just some something unexpected, something spontaneous, and something positive to rise to the table, even if it's just in your own emotional nature. So I feel like this is going to be a full moon um, that is not only surprising, but also in a very positive light. So first and foremost, let's talk about what the full moon is, just in case this is your first time or you're still learning. So when we're looking at a full moon for the month, the full moon says we need to end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. And we need to make that adjustment because something new is trying to push through, okay? Now the actual positioning when we're having a full moon is when the sun, who's over here in Capricorn, is opposite the moon. So what this does is create an opposition, which means takes us in opposite directions directions. So it highlights the places where we have opposition, right? My needs versus my wants, my internal life versus my external life. Um, whatever it is, it just highlights the opposition. Now with this particular moon, we have the sun in a, in a working energy and we have the moon in a home energy. So maybe it's your home versus your work. What do you really want here? The moon is about your inner security. So are you feeling a little bit conflicted here? And there needs to be an adjustment so that you don't fry out and drain all your energy, right? Either way, the full moon is about highlighting those oppositions so that we can see our emotions and experience them at their peaks so that we can use our intuition, so that we can use the wisdom that we've acquired to make adjustments that we need to. I also like that the full moon brings a lot of subconscious awareness to us because maybe you've been struggling within some kind of dynamic, maybe even a relationship dynamic, and you didn't really realize it or you couldn't quite put your finger on what's been bugging you. And this brings it to the surface so you can see it a little bit better. Now, this full moon, and like every full moon except for the eclipses, has a connection to the new moon we just experienced, and that one was on December 7th. So one of the things you can pay attention to if you're using your astrology journal or if you're writing things down is what did you set in motion on December 7th? What did you put in motion? What did you been working on? Because maybe what's happening is by the time we arrive at this full moon, it's seeing some kind of completion because at the full moon we harvest, right? We harvest at the full moon. So whatever changes you were trying to put in place, then we could see some action happening um, right now. So let's talk about the actual astrology that we're looking at here in this particular moon. And keep in mind, even though I'm allowing you to see all of the aspects that are happening, we don't need to take into account every single little thing, right? But I always think it's nice to just kind of show you everything that's going on so your eyes can start to adjust to what we're really focusing in on. Okay, so first and foremost, this is a beautiful aspect here with Uranus. We just talked about that. It's exciting. It brings different things. It brings spontaneous things. Because this is the moon and it's your emotions and your reactions, this may have you reacting to something very differently, maybe even in a surprising way. Maybe you're willing to try something that you've never tried or something like that. Or, you know, your intuition, because Uranus is a very intuitive planet. Maybe your intuition is just on fleek and you're just like, like, you know, you intuitively know how to handle things that kind of had you on edge before. You know, Uranus is also phenomenal at bringing people into our lives, brand new people, valuable people, um, people that we just have a chance encounter with, but we gain some kind of valuable information from them. Uranus is a friendly energy. Maybe you just, you meet somebody and you're like fast friends 
right? Or you, you see an ad in the paper and you're like, that's the job that I want, right? Like you just know. Now, because this can see, it is Cancerian energy, maybe you're willing to try something new in your home, in your household, in your personal being, because remember the first home you have lives in your heart and your body. What are you willing to change? Or where are you willing to experience some excitement or something different? It's a very changeable energy. And the energy is about kicking out what's old for something that is better suited, right? And this is the thing. You can have all the older traditional things in your life. And if they are still working and effective, the full moon's not going to try and kick them out. But if you have things that are ineffective, this energy is trying to kick that out, okay? Now, one of the other things that I, I think about um, with this particular moon is when we get to the moon sign energy, when we're dealing in moon energy, sometimes we guard ourselves, right? We protect ourselves because this is our security. This is our emotional body here. So sometimes we're very protected. And with this Uranian energy, maybe you're willing to be a bit more vulnerable or ask those questions or just, you know, come out of your shell, be a little bit more inhibited than you would have been before. So I think it's a beautiful energy. It's surrounded by some other grounding energies here. So have faith, have courage with this moon. What's the new thing to try? What's the surprise thing that comes around, right? Now, one other aspect I do want to talk about because it's crossing just flat over and it's such a positive energy is Neptune being in a trine. You see that crossing right over that beautiful full moon opposition energy with the sun. Now, this is such a good boating, you guys, for romance. For romance, it's the end of the year, whether you're coupled up, you're single, you want to stay single, whatever the situation is. Venus and Neptune, I like to call the Bopsy twins because they're just so blissful when they get together. You know what I mean? They're, they're perfect for bliss and daydreaming and romance. And it can also be, you know, maybe it's very idealistic, right? So you, you're, you have this idealistic, this um, ideal lover, this ideal project. Maybe you're just, your creativity is firing. Romance doesn't always show up in the form of people. Maybe you're falling back in love with your house and your home and your life. Either way, the places where we have love and our love lives take an absolute increase from how blissful and compassionate this energy is. Now, I do want to tell you too, because you could be in any state out there as you're listening of romantic um, companionship or any of that kind of stuff, this is just a really good connecting energy as well, especially on a spiritual level, right? And I would almost ask you too, when you're looking at this moon, where did you, what was happening for you in July 2018, right? Over this last few months, how have things progressed and changed for you? Are you closer to your goals? Where is this energy going to be really supportive to your creativity, to falling back in love with yourself and your own life and the goal and the plan? Where is this going to welcome in some new, exciting, different information that helps you to move forward? I think it's a wonderful opportunity to evaluate those things, okay? So all in all, what a fun full moon to be having. It is still a full moon, so our emotions could be on ultimate high. Keep that in mind. It could be an emotional moon for you, just especially depending upon where this actually falls in your particular chart. But I definitely think it is a moon to enjoy, enjoy the bliss, get out, be amongst people if you can, and welcome the new coming to you, okay? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, okay? Bye!